We all know it's easy enough to test your internet connection speed from your desktop or your laptop. But when it comes to a Linux appliance, which in my case would be the Synology NAS, and you want to accomplish the same thing, it can become a bit more complicated. Now, there are some videos out there uh, and other information that talk about installing Docker. And if you see here on my NAS, uh, Docker package is not supported. If I search for Docker, you'll see there are no results. So there is another way that you can use speedtest.net without having to install Docker or any other uh, bloated package to do so. And that's by using the speedtest command line interface. So I'm going to go into showing you how to uh, determine which package you need from speedtest and then installing it on your Linux appliance, and in this case, again, it's my Synology NAS. So first thing you want to do is go to the Synology uh, website and locate your specific NAS device so that you can determine your CPU architecture. Um, so basically go to this page, do a search, and when you find the one you want, copy the uh, CPU architecture, and then you're going to paste it into Google and go and see if it's 32-bit architecture, 64-bit architecture, etc. So uh, then what you want to do is go ahead and go over to the Speedtest command line interface website, scroll down to the area that uh, has the downloads for Linux, and then right click and copy the link for your specific architecture. And then once you have that link, what you want to do is open your Linux appliance using the Secure Shell, and then do a wget with that URL so that you can download that package. And then you want to go ahead and do uh, a command to extract speed test from that actual package. And then once you extract speed test, then what you can do is go ahead and run that from the command line to get the same results you would if you ran speedtest.net um, using the web interface. So you can see here, my main point of interest is the download speed. And um, once this is completed, right now it's doing the upload speeds, which I'm not too terribly concerned about, but it is doing exactly the same kind of process that it would if you were to go to the website for speedtest.net. And uh, once this is done here, you can get the uh, URL. So you just go ahead and copy that and then paste it into a browser and you can see the exact same results that you would running it from the web interface.